the customer requested to have the background included i would recommend that you know if you're going to include background especially in this case here maybe include up to a certain point but don't go all the way to the top in my personal opinion it doesn't look as nice to do that and then let's just quickly go to our settings again your default setting is usually front enabled and everything else would be disabled back is disabled left is disabled right is disabled top is disabled bottom is disabled okay good so i'm just going to click on go here so it looks okay from the front. When we rotate it, you've got a big hole over here. So the way to fill this particular hole, in my opinion, is to use an algorithm called portrait mode. So portrait mode means that you're going to come into your settings, click on portrait. And again, it's the same settings, eight, five, two, but this is the difference is your sample radius. The higher the sample radius, the more it's going to fill from this point here to that point there the longer it's going to take to calculate. And sometimes you don't want it to be filled so solid because then it looks like the head is unnatural. All you want is to kind of have some scatter of points there so it's not distracting or obvious to the eye. Because right now that shadow is very obvious to the eye. So a sample radius of two, let's try that. The point of this is using portrait mode to fill in gaps like that. You might have someone holding flowers out in front of them and it creates this huge shadow on their chest. <laughs> 